What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so the final episode right here, guys. We're going to be taking on the Elite Four. We did a lot of stuff. We captured a lot of different Pokemon. We did uh, a lot of legendary things, and on top of that, we captured all the legendary Pokemon doing one little method right here. It's a lot of waiting. But it is finally time to do it. Um... I did a little something right here, guys, that would make you a little happy. Probably for some of you guys who are a little happy or something like that. I did say that I was going to beat the Elite Four five times uh, with different Pokemon teams. This one right here for our final episode, it's going to be a special one. Since we are doing Pokemon X coinciding with this one, it's only appropriate that we beat this game or we finish this game off with our Pokemon X team. As you can see, we got Goku the Lucario, Charizard, Godzilla Godzilla number three, Haxorus, what do we call Haxorus? Bonesaw, Gardevoir number three, or Gaia number three, Fluvolt, and of course Kakashi Hitaki himself, Greninja. So, I did teach some of uh, some new moves to these Pokemon a little bit. Uh, there was a little bit of a mishap here with both internet and on top of that trading the Pokemon. Apparently you can't trade Pokemon with HM moves. That's some BS right there. But, nevertheless, we're going to do this. We're going to finish it off properly, guys. Yes, enjoy this final episode right here because, well, I don't think I'm going to be returning to Pokemon Omega Ruby anytime soon except for just different teams and different battlings and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and uh, do this now of course pokemon league very simple you got to beat them four times in a row and beat the champion but right here you are the champion you're just making a return and yes the pokemon league will have souped up their pokemon just a little bit so as you can see the man with the chair who thinks alrighty sorry about that now let's go right ahead and just take on this guy right here Yo, I've been waiting for you, champion. With the strength you've gained, we can battle with no holds barred. Not to mention, our boy Steven sent us Elite Four some keystones. In other words, my Pokemon can evolve too. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So here it is. The very first battle of the Pokemon League. The return. We're digging on this guy right here, Sydney. Not from Australia, but just Sydney. Alrighty. Look at this. He's coming out with his uh, newest Pokemon right here, Scrappy, I think. Or, I like to call him Shedder because, you know, I got a Shedder on the team. And you, you did say that you could Mega Evolve. Hmm. Are you talking about something like this? <laughs> so here we go, guys. We're going to Mega Evolve our Goku. It's only appropriate. Time to destroy everybody. Gattaca. Oh, yes. Lucario. Super Saiyan up. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Looking like a badass, just like in Pokemon X. And here we go. We're going straight for close combat. Time to eat it, Scrafty. Now, most of these Pokemon are going to be at level 70. So just be aware of that, guys. The return is going to be a little harder. Now, I have no problem using these Pokemon because, of course... Uh, in Pokemon X, it's a little bit easier to gain levels. And, uh, well, my Bonesaw is growing... Uh, getting a new move you know what I already have Dragon Claw so I'm gonna take that out and put Outrage just you know for the shits and giggles and all that stuff but Bonesaw has learned Outrage alrighty so he's coming out with an Absol let's go ahead and just continue this onslaught right here with Goku Super Saiyan Goku right here look at this close combat again yeah buddy look at this oh yes these Pokemon have no chance we're losing defense but it's okay and this guy had a Zoroark. Holy crud. So that was a pretty good one right there. And look at that. Goku has grown to level 72. Okay. Alrighty. Mandibuzz. Okay. So this is a Pokemon I do not want to miss. So let's go to the man, the myth, the legend. Let's go with Fluffolt right here. Alrighty. Now we already have a Fluffolt in our team, but that's... Uh, that's Heart Gold's Flood Bolt right there. And, well, here he comes out with uh, Mandibuzz. Alrighty. Time to do it. Discharge attack. And, of course, he's going to be coming with a faint attack right here. Not so effective. Here comes Discharge. Oh, yeah. We're going to wreck these guys. Now, there is quite a level difference. It's okay. It is okay because my Pokemon are well prepared for this one right here. And, he, of course, he's going to be coming with a Tailpipe or Tail Wind or whatever. And, uh, look at that. Mandibuzz defeated. And, uh, well, 
Fluff Vault is going to be going to level 70 out after this episode right here. And, well, Sydney's coming out with a shift tree. So, let's go with Godzilla Godzilla. Oh, yeah. It is good to see all of these Pokemon back into the Pokemon League. Again, it's only appropriate that I do this right here. Now, I did trade these Pokemon. I did trade for these Pokemon because if I got them through the Pokemon Bank, they wouldn't have had their Mega their Mega Stones, and I don't have all of their Mega Stones. So that that, that right there is kind of like a a big uh, you know it's a big no no right there. So I had to trade them. And look at that, Godzilla grows to level 76, and well, Sydney's gonna be coming out with a Sharpedo. Let's go back to our good old buddy. Where is he? Goku. Super Saiyan. Or you know what? It's Ultra Instinct. That's right. Ultra Instinct Goku right here. Ready to kick some butt. And Sharpedo. Looking like a big old shark right here. But guess what? I got myself some close combat. And of course, he's going to be coming with Aqua Jet. Not so effective. Here comes close combat for the win. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that damage right there. It's okay. It is fine. I don't care because, uh, yeah, that's not going to affect us very much. And, uh, well, he's going to be coming out with the real apps also. Let's go ahead and use our final co close combat against this guy right here. Level 72. Ready to eat this up. And, yes, he's going to mega evolve his Pokemon right here into Emo Absol. Look at that. And here comes a Psycho Cut. Now, that is, uh, that was close right there, but it's not strong. Absol defeated. Look at that, five close combats and I just whooped your candy ass. And guy at three glows, grows to level 77. And he's like, well, well, I lose again. That's right, homeboy. Now take that smirk off your face. <laughs> I knew you were really the strongest. Well, hurry up and get out there. Everyone else is still waiting for you. Well, that is true. Now we gotta heal up our Pokemon. That is a big, 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 uh, a big plus. And of course we need to use an ether for one of our moves right here, which is, you know, close combat. Practically used it on all his team, and I bought myself a boatload of, uh, of uh, full restores right there. So there's one, here's another one, and who is the next person that we- Oh yeah, we have to face the ghost type trainer. So, let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon right here. Now, it really does feel good to have uh, the, the X team right here in Pokemon Auras. Initially, I was going to have like a mixture team. Of, uh, different, uh, of different eras, of different walkthroughs that I've had, but I kind of already did that in Pokemon Platinum. I said to myself, you know what, maybe, just maybe, I should just use Pokemon X, since they've already won the Elite Four and they don't need to be in the uh, Battle of the Elite Four in Pokemon X again. So here is Phoebe, and she's like, ah, <laughs> I've been waiting for you. I'm bringing a little something new to the table. This time, prepare yourself to bring it on. Okay, so here we go, another Pokemon Elite Four battle, and it's up against Phoebe. Mm, 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 mm. The Ghost Type Trainer, and yeah, she is coming out with her ghosts, starting with Bayonet. Okay, look at that scary-looking Pokemon. Let's go with Kakashi Hitake, mainly because it's still a Dark Type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and use that Dark Pulse. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, say goodbye to Bayonet. Look at that, okay, alrighty, so my Pokemon are kicking ass right here. I did teach some of the other Pokemon new moves, just just in case for this one right here. That, and I had to reteach them some moves because, uh, again, you know, you can't trade Pokemon with HM moves, mainly because, I guess, uh, mainly because I have different HM, safe for uh, everything right there. And look at that, Miss Magis, not, uh, not moving, but it survives and it's getting healed again right here, so. Let's go with a Dark Pulse, finishing this guy off right here, and no, it's still still alive. Good God, okay, so here we go. Dark Pulse for the win. Yeah. Who never said they were going to be very hard right here? And look at that. Kakashi Hitake grows to level 74. This is all good right here. And Goku grows to level 73. So, you know, as you guys already see, can, can already see, you know, if you do trade your Pokemon, there's double experience right there. Uh, once we're done battling right here, yeah, it's, our Pokemon are gonna, you know, gain new levels. I'm assuming that my last two Pokemon that are not at level 70 will be at level 70. Look at that, Chandelure just gets its butt kicked right there. Yeah, buddy. Bonesaw growing to level 67 right there, and here she's coming out with a Dustnor. 
this guy is a little scary because uh well look at him just look at him it's just wow so here we go dark pulse again and it nearly takes out Dusnor, and here comes a Thunder Punch. Very good coverage. How did you know I was going to use that? Okay, so again, here comes another full restore by PB. And Dusnor survives this one battle right here. So here we go again. And, well, let's finish this guy off. Dark Pulse for the win. There we go. No more Dusnor. Yes, I'm feeling myself right now. Oh yes, Fluff Volt finally gets to level 70 right there, and here comes Driftblim. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay right here with our good old buddy Kakashi Hitake because not only does it know water type attacks, psychic attacks, and dark type attacks, but I did teach him one good move, and that is Ice Beam. Oh yes, and uh, well, here comes that icy wind. And, uh, well, it tried to get me right there. And, well, our speed has lowered, so let's go right ahead and finish this guy off. Dirk Pulse for the win. Redinja. Yeah, buddy. Taking care of that big old balloon. Now, who is Mega Evolving on our team? I just want to know. And Kakashi Hitake grows to level 75, wants to learn Water Shiruken. I wonder what that is. Oh, yeah, it. Well, we did know that. Huh, we did have that. Hold on. Um. Yeah, not going to happen. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably like reteach it and all that stuff. Actually, hold on, don't do that. It did have it as a uh, what you call it. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So there it is. She is going to be coming out with her Sableye now. Sableye right here, both Dark and Fire type Pokemon, or no Dark and uh, what you call it. Uh, dark and. Uh, Dark and Ghost type, so I know how to deal with that Pokemon. Let's go, Gajula number three. She wants to play hardball. Let's go ahead and play hardball right here. Let's go, Mega Evolution. Time to bring out the big flamethrower right here. Now, here is a uh, really, really good thing about this one. I do have uh, the Charizard I Y. So we're going to be seeing that in this one right here. So here we go. Charizard X ready to kick some ass. And here comes a Sableye's Mega Evolution. Look at this guy. Coming out with a big old crystal as a shield. Holy crud. So here comes Flamethrower. Look at that. Okay. And here comes a Power Gem. Good gravy. Okay. So that right there wasn't a good one right there. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off one more time. Flamethrower for the win. Eat it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. And she got Gila 3. Level 77. It wants to learn Flare Blitz. Huh. Well, let's see. I do have Flamethrower. Let's see. 120. I do have Flamethrower, so I am going to switch out Flamethrower for the time being because there is a little something that comes with that Charizard I Y, and well, I can't wait to use it on the next uh, trainer right here. Alrighty. What do you got to say? <laughs> what a shame. I lost again, huh? But on the bright side, we fought together, so the bonds between my Pokemon and me get even deeper. I look forward to, be, uh, to being able to battle you again sometime. No problem. Okay, so she is a good sport. Very, very good sport. So what we're going to do is going to heal up our Pokemon. And... Well... They, okay, so the next trainer is going to be an Ice-type trainer. Now, there is a little something here that I kind of want to try out. I do have the Charizard I Y. So I'm going to switch it out for the Charizard I X. And... Let's see. Do I have that move? Let's see... Do I have Solar Beam here? I don't think I have Solar Beam. Gravy. Okay, so I don't think I have Solar Beam, but that, I don't think that I don't think that's going to be a, a yeah, that's not going to be an issue. It's just uh, there's a little bit of a strategic uh, implications in all this. So here we are in the icy area right here. Now I'm I'm so glad that we don't get to slide in through this one because that would have been bad. Probably would have broken an ankle again, you know. So there is uh, the lovely Glacia. Alrighty, what's up, girl? How you doing? You looking lovely today? Nice dress. Mm, 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 mm. 
medieval times, and you were probably the hottest one. So let's go right ahead and battle her. I've been waiting for a trainer with a burning hot soul. How can you oppose Mega Evolution that can uh, freeze any of everything? Well, you'd be surprised. So here we go, guys. We're battling Glacia, the ice type uh, trainer for the Elite Four. God damn, you could lose your like you can you lose yourself in her eyes. So here she comes with Obama Snow. Alrighty, Glacia. Uh oh. Okay, so I picked the wrong Pokemon right here. Good gravy. Okay, so. Ooh, I probably should have switched my Pokemon right here, and uh, well, uh, that ain't gonna happen. So let's go ahead. Let's let let's throw a little bit of a let's, let's throw something right here. Um, I do have Goku. Let's go ahead and take out Obama Snow first. This kind of like ruined it for me. All right, here comes the Wood Hammer, Giggity. and nothing right there. So Obama Snow. And yes, we still got that that little effect right there. So let's go right ahead and use a close combat. Here we go, Goku. Finishing off a bomb of snow. Now this is just a one-off right here. Now, snow warning is still in effect, but I do have a little bit of something that can just uh you know even out the odds right here. So Gaia 3 grows to level 78, and uh, well, we're getting buffed by a snow right here, or ice, and well, she's coming out with a bear tick. I just got I got the right Pokemon for this one right here. So let's go to Godzilla number three right here. And, uh, well, alrighty. Beer Tick. Looking all mean and everything. Okay, so it's time. Mega Evolution. And let's go with the Flare Blitz. Here we go, Charizard I Y. Time to do it. Time to show off the new evolution for Charizard right here. We weren't going to do it in Pokemon X, but Pokemon Y right here, look at this. Say hello to Charizard Y and its special effect right here, Drought. So this one powers up his uh, his fire attacks by, by nobody's business right there. Look at that. And look at that. Bear Tech has been defeated. Now there is a downside to that Flare Blitz, and that is it recoil. Now, let's see. She's coming out with the wall rain. I am going to switch out because that is not going to be a good one right there. So what we're going to do, of course, the internet is being uh, stupid right now. We're going to be battling this Pokemon trainer with a flip bullet right here and a wall rain. Look at all mean and everything. Now I'm going to take a hit. I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually heal a good old buddy, Godzilla 3, just for the uh, occasion. And, well, here comes Sheer Cold, of course. That is a one-hit KO kind of move. Luckily for us, we avoided it. So here comes a Discharge. Yeah, buddy. And Wall Rain, still trying to use Sheer Cold, just trying to wind off us. But here we go, another Discharge. Eat it. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Wall Rain. Okay, alrighty. Okay, and then uh, Goku has grown to level 74. Now she's coming out with a frost lass. So let's go back to our good old buddy Godzilla number three. Let's take care of business right here with uh, a few ass weapons. You know, just so many ass weapons. Look at that. He looks so majestic as Charizard Y. Now, my deal is this like, I don't know which Charizard uh, Mega Evolution is my favorite. You got this one right here that comes out with Drought. It makes it so much easier to use uh, Solar Beam. You got Charizard X, you know? It's just like it just it literally becomes a dragon. So it's just I don't know. It's just it, I don't know. I, I don't know how to speak right now, guys. So here she's coming out with a Vanillux. A Vanillux. Yeah, yep. Yeah. She's got herself an ice cream cone right there. But guess what? We got Flare Blitz. Let's finish this guy off right here. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Vanillux has been defeated. Yeah, buddy, and that is more HP taken away. We're getting more experience points as we, as it is right here. And, well, let's see. She's coming out. Oh, Bonesaw's growing levels, too. That's pretty cool. And here she's coming out with Glalie, her final Pokemon. Of course, she is going to try and Mega Evolve this guy. So, let's finish him off. Flare Blitz. And here comes a Mega Evolution. Look at this scary Pokemon. It looks like a unicorn now. A scary unicorn, and of course he's going to be using Protect. Good gravy. Okay, so 
Okay, so luckily for us, we still don't get a rec uh, recoil if, her, you know, if we miss or not. But here comes Flare Blitz for the win. And there goes Glalie. Yeah, buddy. And wow, that takes a lot of our uh, a lot of our HP right there. But no no problem whatsoever. Yes, it's really hot because my drought. Okay, guys, sorry about that. It's just I don't know what's going on right now, but the internet is giving me crap again. So, it is what it is. Okay, so now that we've taken care of that, Okay, we're gonna go with full restores right here, and Goku needs one as well. And before I forget, let's go back and give that Charizard, uh, Charizard I, uh, X to Charizard right here. That way, when I trade it back, it doesn't uh, have the, the wrong one. And, well, let's see, there is one little thing that I want to do too, because the next trainer, you yeah, know, we're very familiar with this guy. Unfortunately, we don't have the Mega, Mega Stone for this Pokemon, but we'll be fine. So, here it is, the last of the Elite Four, and then we got, well, the former champion himself, and, uh, well, here he is, good old Drake. The last time we seen him was at the SS title, and he's like, oh, I've been waiting for you. My Pokemon and I are going to show you everything we've got. Well then, you had better get ready to try and stop me. Okay, alrighty, so here it is, guys. Drake, not the singer, Drake, the actual trainer right here. Better than the, you know, so-called uh, rapper, whatever. Fight me if you guys uh, argue about that. So here we go, Drake coming out with his Dragon-type Pokemon, and luckily for us, we do have Gaia 3, not Gaia 2, not Gaia number 1, Gaia 3 right here, and, well, we do have that Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, buddy, here we go, Dazzling Gleam, say goodbye to Altaria. Oh, wait, what the hell? Okay, so Alteria survived that one attack. Okay, alrighty, so uh, let's go again with the Dazzling Gleam, of course. Here comes a full restore, mainly because, well, you know, like many of us other trainers, Drake is a pretty good one, too. So there it is, Alteria defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, and, uh, well, Gaia 3 growing to level 79, and everybody else is growing levels just like Kakashi is, and, look. Well, here comes Dragolage, and I believe this is the poison type Pokemon, so I don't need a switch. There is just a little bit of a risk of getting hurt right here, so let's go Psychic Attack right here. Come on. And Dragolage has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, alright, look at that. Okay, so here comes a Flygon, and I got a Pokemon just for you. Let's go straight to Kakashi Hitaki himself. Ready to kick ass, take names, and make a name up for himself right here. Yeah, buddy. So here comes Flygon, and, uh, well, Flygon is looking mean. So here comes the Ice Beam attack that it's been dreading. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Say goodbye to freaking Flygon. Okay. Kakashi growing more levels as it is. And here comes a Haxorus. Let's stay put. I know I have my own Haxorus, but kind of saving him for later. For little, uh, another occasion right here. And, well, let's go again. Ice Beam. Luckily for us, we're faster than this guy. And this takes him down. That's right. Kakashi Hitaki doesn't take shit from anybody. That's right. My Kakashi right there. And he's coming out with a Kingdra. Good thing for us. We do have a Pokemon that can uh, actually beat him this time. Last time, like, in original versions right here, yeah, it's a little difficult to battle Kingdra, mainly because it's water and dragon, and uh, there's not a lot of dragon-type Pokemon, a lot of dragon-type moves and all that stuff, you know, Generation 2, it's kind of a weird time. So, here we go, let's get this Dazzling Gleam, yes sir, say goodbye to Kingdra, yeah buddy, one hit KO, we're sweeping his team! And welcome to the level 80 club. Look at that. Gaia 3, easily our strongest Pokemon right here. And Fluffolt, enjoying the level 70s. And, well, Drake is coming out with his Salamence. Oh, God. Okay, so, let's see. Yeah, we're going to stay put right here. I was thinking of using Actress, but Salamence is going to Mega Evolve, and I'm not going to risk it right here. So let's go right ahead and use another Dazzling Gleam. I'm pretty sure this Salamence is not going to be as strong as it is. Look at this. We've seen this before. 
with uh, what's your face? Uh, that dragon type trainer. And here comes a crunch attack. Not effective. Okay, so here comes drag or what was it? Dazzling gleam, and there goes Salamence. Alrighty. Yeah. We swept through that team like if it was nobody's business, and Bonesaw grows level 69, Kakashi level 77. Yes, just like his awful songs, Drake has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. I got a glimpse inside your heart. There's nothing for me to say to you. Go forth, trainer. Go on to your next challenge. With your head held high. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. I'm gonna save this. Just in case something happens, because something always does happen. And let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here, because uh, uh, it's uh, it, it, it's always appropriate to heal your Pokemon right here. Okay, so that's that. And, well, I guess we're going to use Bonesaw. You know, since it, it is the only Pokemon we haven't used yet. Okay, alrighty, maximum effort. Look at that, look at that. Oh, wow, the door is opening. Man, I, I think this is like my favorite entry to the Pokemon League or uh, Champion Battle. That and I believe uh, the X version's uh, Champion. It's kind of like going up into heaven. You know, it, it kind of does. So, here it is, guys. The former champ himself, Steven Stone. And, welcome, Champion. Let me test my skills against one, uh, you once again. Man, a few words. That's a good one. So here it is, Steven, the Pokemon League champion somehow. Okay. And as you can tell, he does have a Mega Stone right there. So he's coming out with his Skarmory right here. Okay. Skarmory. Looking all mean and everything. But guess what? I got myself a good Pokemon. That is a uh, Haxorus. And, uh, well, it's at level 77. So that right there is a big, 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 uh, big, uh, no, no. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Fluffolt. Trying to save that Mega Evolution for somebody right here. And here comes Fluffbolt. Alrighty. Here comes a Steel Wing attack. And it is not effective. Okay, and yes, you have been hit by Static. Okay. Alright, now we're working with a little bit of fire right here. So, let's go right ahead and use a Discharge attack. Hopefully for the win. Oh, nearly beats him, and he's paralyzed. But that won't last very long because, of course... He's a good trainer himself. He's going to use a full restore. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. And here comes a discharge again. Let's go. Let's go. Discharge. Di oh, wow. Forgot about Sturdy. So he's going to try and use another full restore again. Nope. He's going to sacrifice his Pokemon. So there it is. Say goodbye to Skarmory. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. And, well, he's going to be coming out with an Aggron. I do believe this is the Pokemon he uses for uh, his Mega Evolution, so... Screw it. Let's go... Yeah, let's go Kakashi Hitake. It really doesn't matter. Okay, bring it. If he does Mega Evolve him, that is probably one of the stupidest moves a champion or a former champion can ever do. So here he is, Aggron. And let's go with the Waterfall attack right here, and... He doesn't make up all this Pokemon. And that takes a lot. And here comes a Stone Edge attack. Okay, so that, that right there, it hurts. So let's go again. Another Waterfall attack. Let's go. Finish it. And there goes Aggron. I seriously thought he was going to make up all this Pokemon, but then I, I realized something. He does have a, 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 a what you might call it, a, another Pokemon here. So here he comes out with a Carbink. Oh, crud. Let's go with Goku. Now, it is a risky move just using Goku because he is a skill tap Pokemon, so... We're gonna we're gonna do our best to beat this guy. And, uh, well, I think Carving is both a Fairy and Rock type, so... We'll see what happens right here. So here we go, a close combat. And that doesn't do much. I kind of left myself wide open right there. And here comes an Earth Power. And that right there is not good. So let's go with a Poison Jab right here. It is a Fairy-type Pokemon as well. And it is Poison. Yes, sir. Okay, so here comes another Earth Power. And that is going to finish off Goku. Rud. Rud Baskets. Okay. 
And does Carving Faint? He does not, but he's going to get healed in the next one. Oh, crud. Okay, so let's go back to Kakashi Hitake right here. Ah, oh, jeez. And, well, let's go for a Waterfall. And like I predicted, yes, he's going to heal his Pokemon, so it is, uh, it's got his second win right here. So here we go, Waterfall, let's get it. And that takes a huge chunk out of his HP, so let's go again, Waterfall, to finish this guy off right here. Look at this. Shoyuken! There we go. Okay, so Carbink has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, so what is next? Aerodactyl. You know what? Let's stay put right here to Kakashi Hitake. And, of course, Aerodactyl is going to be using pressure right here. Now, so this is another Pokemon that can Mega Evolve, but I know Steven. He's not going to be a stupid when it comes to Mega Evolving a Pokemon too soon. So here comes a an Ice Beam. And here, let's finish this guy off with the Waterfall. But here comes a Thunder Fang. And that takes care of that. Oh, crud. Woo! Okay, so we're battling. Alrighty. Okay, let's see how it is. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's go with Bone Saw. It does have a huge attack right here. So let's uh, let's see what happens right here. Let's go. Crud baskets. Fuck it. Outrage. And here comes an Ice Fang. Good gravy. This guy, he has all the fangs. Not effective, but here comes. Oh yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot about Rocky Helmet. And there goes Aerodactyl. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Look at that. And, well, Steven's coming out with a clay doll. I am going to switch out right here because uh, th this is no good right here. Oh, crud. Let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. I think I have Shadow Ball with it. Could be wrong. Alrighty, Gaia. Let's see what you can do. And here comes a trace. Everybody else is looking at me. So let's go. Yes, I have a Shadow Ball, so let's use it. Time to eat it. There we go. And here comes a Light Screen. So that cuts any special attacks in half right there. Okay, so let's see if that can actually beat this guy. I could be wrong and... Nearly takes him out. Good gravy. God dang, Steven Stone is uh, pulling out all the stops right here. He really wants his championship back. And here comes another Shadow Ball. Alrighty. Okay. So, he's down to one Pokemon. I think this is going to be the most interesting one. Because, you know, early on when this whole game came out, there was a special with a shiny, uh, a shiny Beldum. That has long been gone, and I could have used it right here, but now, like, I'm going to use the signature Pokemon for Gym Leader Draven, and that is a Godzilla. Look at this guy. Alrighty, so both at level 79, who has the biggest balls right here? So let's go ahead and use Mega Evolution and use a Flare Blitz. Let's just sacrifice ourselves right here. So here it is, time to Digivolve. Let's go, Charizard. X4. Yeah, buddy, look at this. X form, ready to go. Okay, okay, let's go. And here comes Metagross's uh, Mega Evolution. And yes, he is looking like a tank. A pure tank. And well, here comes a Flare Blitz. Hopefully that beats it. And that does the trick. Ganica. And Godzilla just takes a huge recoil, but... That is how you do it, guys. Bonesaw finally reaches the level 70, and we defeated the so-called champion, Steven Stone. <laughs> yes, we received a boatload of money right here, guys. I knew you would be strong, but I don't regret our battle. Because each time that I battle you, I learn more about Pokemon. Yes, I have something I'd like to give you uh, in, the, in thanks for all you've done. We get ourselves the Metagross site, guys. This will enable us to actually, yeah, evolve our Metagross whenever we get it. That is a very special piece from my collection, but I think you're capable of appreciating its worth. Come on, it's time to rec uh, it's time we record your great victory right here. Okay, alrighty. So there it is, guys. We're going back into the Hall of Fame with our X crew, and this concludes. 
our final episode right here. This is where we maintain the records, prevail the hard uh, through sh yeah yada yada yada. Okay, yeah, this is where we get our, our battles and all that stuff. Come, we will use this machine to you to record your name and the names of the partners you battle along with the triumph over the Pokemon League. Okay, at least he's not a sore loser, that's right. There we go, look at that. Two time Hall of Famers. Yes, sir, okay. Oh god. So here it is, the Hall of Fame. Our good old buddy Haxorus finally grows to level 70 here. Godzilla number three at 79. Our strongest guy at three at level 81. And then we got Kakashi Hitake at level 77. And our good old buddy Flavolt 73. And Goku. Level 75. And your badass host. Again. Two-time Hoenn League champion in Oraz. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, guys. This concludes our final episode of this walkthrough right here. We started in August and... Uh, well, I don't know. No, wait. I don't remember when we started. Yeah. Well, this walkthrough here started in the pandemic. And, well, it ends with the pandemic as well, hopefully. I don't know. So, yes, we're saving the game. Fuck yeah. Anywho, guys, I just want to say thank you. A huge thank you to every single one of you guys out there for supporting this walkthrough, especially during this whole uh, pandemic. Yes, uh, pandemic started from where, where I'm at, at, you know, in March of this year. We are technically in November. As I am currently recording this game, it is a month away from our 10-year anniversary. And I'm just saying this. Um, stay positive, guys. Stay uh, positive and safe. It will get better. I promise you that it will get better um, as of right now I'm for me I'm, I'm doing well everything's fine I'm you know everything I'm safe I haven't caught the COVID as far as I know and uh, well hopefully hopefully just hopefully we'll see some uh, some progress within the next few months going into the next year and stuff um, aside from that I just want to say that I, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of this watch right here guys when I was driving XC 711 I started this whole Japanese one, this game in Japanese, and it didn't work out. I had to delete it. It was, it was, it was, it was pretty bad, guys. But you know, I think a positive sign of the pandemic is that it helped me bring out a little bit more walkthroughs for you guys to watch, to be entertained, and all that stuff. I mean, the subscriber count has gone up. That's a benefit itself. But you know, playing these games is just, you know, entertaining you guys. Is that that's what's important, especially since like most of you guys are probably. We're, so, we're probably supposed to go to school, but are ended up ended up staying at home because of the whole COVID thing. And for me, you know, since I'm not an essential, this is a way to take the boredom off and to keep me a little bit at ease, you know, my mental health at ease and all that stuff. But anywho, guys, uh, yeah, 88 episodes in all. I will be doing, uh, you know, some side episodes when it comes to, like, battling the Elite Four with different teams and all that stuff, but nothing too big on this. Um, what else? What else? If you guys haven't noticed, Pokemon Adventures HD and I are no longer working uh, with each other, so I have taken over his walkthroughs and put them right here. I will be putting in more walkthroughs on the non-narrated section. Now, one of those games happens to be Pokemon Alpha Zapphire. I will be playing that game uh, later later along in the future. It will be non-narrated. It will be opposite of this game right here. That way you guys have a little bit more onto this channel right here just to locate, you know, walkthroughs and all that stuff. Guides, you know, just to help you guys and all that stuff. Uh, other games such as my main games like Pokemon X, Heart Gold, the eventual Sun and Moon, and Sword and Shield, they will be narrated. So don't worry about that, guys. I got you guys covered. Don't worry. Do not worry, I got you. But anywho, uh, the plan from here on in is that, you know, I am currently recording the first few episodes of Pokemon Sun and Moon. And trust me guys, you will love them. Hopefully we'll be done with Sun and Moon by the end of March. I'm giving myself an extra two months, but I'm pretty sure we'll finish it early. And then from there, we're gonna go into Sword and Shield and hopefully Pokemon doesn't come out with like another game for another year or two. Please, please don't. Give me give me some time, guys. But I've, I feel like I finally caught up with most of the walkthrough artists out here in, on YouTube. And uh, it's all thanks to you guys for the, all the support. By the time I can't come down with this uh, walkthrough, 
or I, I upload this thing. I'm hoping that you know we will reach our 8,000 subscriber. We are at least 100 away from reaching that goal, and then uh, you know we'll have two 2,000 more just for that 10, uh, the special 10k. But other than that, guys, I mean, I'm, I'm reflecting on this this walkthrough right here, and you know I'm very proud. I'm very very proud of myself for sticking through the whole thing and uh, for putting in a little bit more effort than what I would initially put in. Um, future walkthroughs, you guys will see. We'll put it. We'll, we'll we'll see the same effort that we have right here. So again, guys, thank you for supporting. Thank you guys for being there and uh, for continuing to support all these walkthroughs. I got nothing else to say except for enjoy this whole walkthrough right here, and I will see you guys in the newer walkthroughs such as Sun and Moon, the conclusion of X, and. Uh, well, eh, well, I won't be speaking, but you guys will be seeing other walkthroughs like gold, silver, ruby, sapphire. I don't know about pearl and platinum or no pearl, diamond, and other walkthroughs. You guys know what I'm talking about. But yes, I will see you guys next time.